Hello, and today I'll be showing you how to put a journal into RPG Maker XP. What this journal will do is record information that you've inputted into the game and you can be able to retrieve that information from the menu. So it's easier to keep track of quests. So if you put a quest there, you can activate a switch through the game and it will say in the journal what the quest needs. So for now you just need to download two scripts, one called Scene Journal and Window Journal. I'll provide a link for both of these in the description. For now you can just put them off to the side. Then open up your RPG Maker. Uh, you can either load a new game or open a previous project. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial I'll open a previous one because I added more slots to the menu. Uh, don't worry if you don't know how to do this. I have made a different tutorial on this, and I'll provide a link to that too. So you'll know how to do that. But for now, just go to the script editor, scroll up, or scroll down, and uh, go to main, then insert. So now you have to insert two new blank spots. Call the first one scene journal. Go to your script and then control A, copy and paste. And the second one, window journal. Just go to your script, highlight all, and paste it in. So, first off, you need to go to window journal. This is where we define what gets to be said in the actual journal. So first off, we need to know what the offset will be. The offset by default is just 99, but you can always change that. Uh, this will, this this affects what switch has to be triggered. So if its offset is 99, uh, the trigger that sets the first one will be 100. Then 102, 103, 104, 105. So if you want to change that to zero, it would start at one, two, three, four, five. If you want to add more, just put the little sorry, a sign, data, square brackets, the next number, which would be six here, and equals and your bracket uh, quotation marks. Then you just type in what you want to see. So get a sword. And yeah, that that's really just it's really easy how to make these, and you can make a lot of them. So after we have defined what we want to be said, we go to scene journal, scroll up, and it says scene journal here. Uh, we'll need this later. But I'll just go to scene menu, and then from the previous tutorial. You should have seen that we have put more slots in. So here is journal. So it'd be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Journal should be on the fourth slot. <clears throat> so we go 0, 1, 2, 3, and then 4. But currently the fourth slot is occupied by the save. So we can easily change that. Just go to highlight all of the save. Sorry. And just copy and since the save is now on the seventh slot just go in here and paste it in replace the number four with the seven and we've just put the save slot on the seventh one now we want to highlight this one just number five or even six it doesn't really matter and replace what is the save slot here with this. We just change that to 4 and now we can put in our journal. So we just go to scene journal, just copy, go back to the menu, number 4 slot and it says scene and dot new, just go scene journal dot new. So it should apply and OK and this is what it should look like. 
So if we press escape, we can go down to journal, click it, and then here is our journal. I will make a separate video on how to specifically use the tutorial, or how to use the journal. Uh, but for now, just rate, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoyed.